Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another live game commentary. Well, Fox Repair Plus, of course, more importantly, Shad is also joining us. Today, it's been a while since Shad's joined us, so I'm, I'm sure you guys have missed him. And considering it's the only reason you watch my videos anyway, I'm really happy to have him back, as I'm sure you are as well. Today, we're playing some Hair Cream Shungle sh sh Jungle. Why am I playing Hair Cream Shungle? Uh, because Ayub Saeed, that's probably not how you say his name, but you know. Uh, he asked for it in the comment of my last video, and I was like, you know what? Why the bloody hell not? Let's play some Hecarim, boys. So we're playing some Hecarim. He's not quite so good right now in the current meta. Um, there are definitely better junglers out there. Hecarim's problem is that he wants to kind of just farm it up and doesn't really compete with uh, the full tank build, really, that's kind of just going down nowadays. Um, but honestly, for solo queue, I don't think Hecarim's that bad because... You can just, you know what, I'm going to do this shit. Because for solo queue, you can basically just farm up and it's not much of a big deal. And he's really easy to play as well. And honestly, having a jungler that has carry potential uh, is pretty good for solo queue regardless of the meta, honestly. I feel like Hecarim gets outshone by a decent amount of champions nowadays, especially in high reload. And you can get punished picking Hecarim into certain uh, junglers, especially early game junglers. Like I remember when Graze was meta, it was really hard for Hecarim. Uh, going up against Graves, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm against Rengar this game, he can be hard for me, but honestly, Rengar tends to play a little bit passive anyway early, shouldn't be a big deal, anyway, Rooms of Mastery on Hecarim guys, AD Reds, AD Quints, Arm Yellows, MR Blues, and, <laughs> uh, yeah, Fear Masteries, holy shit, it's taking me so long, I should have done Blue first, uh, and for your masteries, diddle 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 bang. For your masteries, you want to go for uh, twelve zero eighteen with courage of the Colossus. Courage is really good on Hecarim. It means whenever you jump in with your E or you jump in with your ultimate, you get a massive shield, which is very useful because obviously once you've gone in, uh, it helps you to survive that a little bit longer. Now I might actually be able to do something bot side here. I know it's warded in the river. Um, but I might be able to go through like here and go, and go down bot side. I was just going to recall honestly because I haven't even taken my red buff. And maybe I should be recalling here. But I'm going to go bot side. I feel like if if, if this works, uh, it's worth loot. Okay, I fucked it up. It's worth losing my red buff here. Alright, let's go boys. We should focus down the... She'll flash this most likely. She flashed a bit late there, but that's fine. We get the flash. That's all we wanted. Going to recall now. I need to get some red buff really fast here because Rengar knows that I just showed bot side and knows uh, I don't have my red buff. So uh, if he's smart, he's going to run top side here and just fuck me up. But uh, I don't know <laughs> if, if he is. Like, if he's not in the area, for example, he won't get here fast enough. But considering he can 1v1 me as well, then i got to be careful he might go for this. Um, hopefully he doesn't. Uh, but yeah, so that's a nice successful gank. It alleviates some pressure uh, from from my bot lane there, and uh, also it means that we get the, the the flash from Sona. So that's good shit. I'm gonna do the red buff now, and I'm also gonna drag it into this bush here because if Rengar does show up, then this gives me vision to see him coming in, so we can stop him. Uh, but he's actually bot side, which is nice. It means that I can uh, do this with no worries, and also it means I can go into his jungle now. And take some things. Assuming I don't want to go topside here, which I might want to do, honestly. I'm going to go topside. Fuck it. It should be a pretty easy gank here. Again, I'm expecting to get a flash out of this and not much more. Okay. Maybe if I didn't have a AFK top lane now, this would have actually been a good idea. Yo, it... Mm, I don't think she would have had the damage to flash on that and actually do that, but whatever. I could have used my ghost there, um, but honestly, I shouldn't, like, I was thinking best case scenario there, I'm just going to get a flash, and I don't need to use my ghost for the flash. And to be honest, I think that probably would have made, I think that's fine, honestly. If I'd used my ghost... Wait, he didn't see the ward, that's good. <laughs> if I'd used my ghost there, he, Trundle would have just run away from me. The only reason I would have wanted my ghost there is if... If that situation had played out exactly the same way, then ghost would have been useful. But it wouldn't have played out that way if I'd used ghost, so... Let's take the chickens here. Hecarim is very good at take, taking away the chickens. You might notice that I'm not using my W here. That's because it takes a lot of mana to use my W. 
uh, and without blue buff, I mean, I've gone through all my Hunter's Potion stacks already. Uh, to be fair, I did go for a gank top, you know, I was fighting and stuff, but still, uh, you use a lot of mana when you're playing Hecarim, so that's tricky, tricky to kind of manage that. Uh, and you don't, if, you, if you've got blue buff, you can spam your abilities, that's fine, but if you don't have blue buff, then when you're clearing the jungle, uh, you just go Um all the time, so... We're going to take away that camp, and then we're going to... Hmm, I'm going to rush the Sheen here, I guess. I don't really like recalling here, because I don't have that much gold. Rushing tier 2 boots is actually pretty good on Hecarim as well. Like, some... Back when Hecarim was meta, like, towards the beginning of the season, some people in this situation would actually rush Ninja Tabby... Uh, sorry, Swiftness boots. Like, as just flat out your first item, just Swiftness boots. But that was also when Swiftness boots were really strong. Uh, they were like, everyone bought Swiftness Boots 24-7. No one does that anymore. And I'm not going to do that this... What the fuck? And I'm not going to do that this game. Alright, we can fight this one. This is this is a, go this is a ghost here. Oh my god, this is awkward. Yeah, let's keep going, let's keep going. This is the latest fuck TP, but that's fine. I went way too deep here. Should've gone on Sona there, not Rengar. Fuck, we balls this up so hard. Oh, okay, she should still be alive here. Oh god, maybe not. Ah, shit. Alright. That was almost good for us. A few things went wrong there, though. <laughs> Just a few. Uh, TP was a bit late there. I shouldn't have gone on Rengar. And yeah, I don't like this. This Riven was actually assigned AD carry this game and then got swapped out. So I do not know who. I don't know if she really plays R Riven there because she did. She like flashed in, and mi missed her combo on Rengar, which would have killed him. Which is a bit awkward. Anyway, I actually feel like that should have gone a bit better for us because we should have had the faster rotating bot lane. Uh, but with all the factors that got put into that, uh, it didn't work out that way. And that was really bad in the end. Unfortunate. Again, though, partially just Hecarim in general, I would say. You're, I'm really not that strong at this stage of the game. Especially without my ultimate. Uh, without any any real items, without my ulti, I'm I'm nothing special here. So, no real surprise that I wasn't able to contribute that much in that fight compared to Rengar, who uh, I think he was still level five. I'm pretty sure he was only level five there, but uh, he's just a lot stronger, really, just in general. Uh, Ari's ultimate is up though. I might be able to run mid and just like ult this lane here. Let's get in behind it. Just ear out and. Oh my goodness, that was so... That was way too close. <laughs> Alright, nice. So I used my ultimate as a bit of like a an insect there, so to speak, with the fear. We can... I don't think we need to let this... Is he actually just going to walk into my jungle here? And well, We do not need to give this guy control of our jungle here. Fuck it, I'm going to fight him here. Trundle's coming down, but he's not... Gonna get here for a little while. God, he's faster than me with Ghost Up? Really? Jeez. That's fine, though. Oh, my goodness. That scared the fuck out of me. I'm actually gonna die as well. Fuck my life. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think he could jump me that far. I know. I knew Trundle was coming down, but I was like, I'll just walk away. But I just wasn't expecting Rengar to be able to jump, jump on me here. Fuck. Oh, fuck my life. That was so stupid. Right. Let's get my. I'm gonna get my tier two boots after my Sheen here. Sheen is still like. I think it's better to rush Sheen. It's more of like the offensive upside here. Plus, it gives me. Like CDR is so nice. The mana is really nice as well. It means that I don't have to worry too much. I can start using my abilities more when I'm clearing. Uh, and just in general, Sheen is so nice on Hecarim. So so nice. 
Because you can like get 100% uptime with this thing. Because you're Q. It's really nice for it. Alright, I'm actually going to mute this. Sorry, here, yeah, fuck. She's still at me. Uh, I already feel bad about what happens in that fight. Because it's, it's, just, it's just silly. But I'm going to tilt. If I get flamed by her, I'm going to tilt. I can feel it. I'm, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I already know I fucked up. And that's the thing. Especially because I feel like this play in the in the bot side that went 1 and 4, I feel like she, she didn't play it particularly well and it kind of lost us the kill on Rengar, which would have just meant that it was a 1 and 0 and like nothing else happens. And then she's going to flame me. But I, I don't know. I like, I just, that's that's the problem, isn't it? When people start chatting shit to you, that's the thing, is you you get very defensive and you're like, yeah, well, you did it. Like you, everyone just start po starts pointing fingers. And it just it just devolves into this kind of like blame game and it doesn't help anyone. You know, like it's not productive in the slightest. And on top of that, it just puts me like it just gives me the wrong mindset, you know. So yeah, just just gonna ignore it, just like nip it in the bud there. If she's the type of person who's gonna like flame and stuff, then start raging about shit. Then that's kind of kind of teammate is going to tilt me, so we'll ignore it. Uh, I'm not even going to bother ganking top. Well, actually, with that executions calling, maybe I can. I don't really want to, because I feel like he's got pretty good 2v1 potential. But, mm, with executions calling, the hit. like, Tr Trundle's the kind of person who presses R and makes it very hard to kill him. And he could potentially 2v1 us there, but I, 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 I honestly don't know how that works with the executions calling, because it, it's not just like, it cuts the healing down, right? Which is really nice, but it's not just the healing that makes that a problem with uh, with execution, uh, with Trundlewell, right? It's the fact that he steals, like, your defensive stats and stuff. And also, Trundle's Q steals your AD. Is this happening? Is he actually going in on this? What the fuck? Hmm. Oh my god, my E just... Wait, what happened to Ari? Yo, can I flame Ari here, lads? Can I do it? Okay, that actually didn't achieve anything there. Holy shit, what is happening? Can someone... Oh my god, now she heals. Oh my god! Yo, we played that shit horrifically. Holy fuck. This is painful. My ultimate was kind of wasted. I thought I'd get a two-man fear, but I was too far away. I failed my E on the Sona initially. That was really bad. Uh, Ari instantly died. This is where I start saying Ari. Spam Ari in caps and spam, spam pinger. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh... River, I don't know what Riven's combos are here, but either way, that was something. And then the heal was so late that it, I I, just, I died before the heal even came out. Uh, and then the exhaust came out after everyone else was... Like, that was just painful to watch, man. That was not... I, I, hope, I hope whatever that was never happens ever again. Ever. That is abysmal. That was painful to watch. I, I, hey, and listen, I know I'm saying... I know I'm chatting shit about everyone... But I, I would like to point out I'm chatting shit about myself there as well, right? Like, my, my ultimate was was garbage here. Anyway, uh, I would like to see our bot lane go top lane here. So they can actually push without being, you know, like this. Without this happening. Because uh, this should really be a, a, a 2v3. It's just risky. Like they're going to keep pushing because there's no tower here. And then they're going to be vulnerable. When they could just go top side and then push the 2v1 with Trundle. That like against Trundle. So them, them like keeping on the push here is really risky by them. Because Rengar should just come down and gank them and they should die. I don't know where Sivir is, honestly. That's, you know, a bit of a weird spanner in the works there. Um, because this, sh this should be a 2v3, which is why they should lose this all the time. But yeah, is Sivir AFK or something? What is she doing? Alright, that's fine. Alright, I do 
You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm. That's that's just that's just how it is nowadays, isn't it? That's just what's happening. That's just what's happening, and that's cool. You know what? This is an infernal dragon spawning next. How about we make them have to use another control ward? Oh shit! Mm, I don't think I can run there for Sona. Sona's in this area. But I don't think I could go there. Oh shit, that is a Rengar. Just gotta dodge the uh, empowered E there. See if we can defend this one. Lulu might be able to with Q. I'm assuming Orion doesn't have ulti either. Now usually when you make assumptions, bad things happen. I'm guessing Rengar's here. Where's Rengar? No Rengar. Okay. <laughs> but I'm guessing she doesn't have ult. Oh, Rengar's topside. Wow. She died fast. Is this a good idea, boys? What do you reckon? I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. We should be able to, should be able to defend the tower, though, which is fine. Guy's actually Oom as well. So. Alright. <laughs> I do not know what these guys are doing, but that works for me. He's not even recalling, he's generally just sitting there. That actually hit the charm. Good shit. Oh fuck, I need to recall for that. I need to recall here because I'm way too low and I can't contest this on this health. Fuck, I'm so close to my Triforce. Alright, I'm just going to leave some positive affirmation here in the chat. Just to reassure my... Reassure my teammates. Be nice to them, you know, all that, all that bullshit. I'm really close to level 11 here. Okay. It would be nice to get level 11, so I've got rank 2 ultimate for the next fight, but... Uh, if I don't need it, that would be really nice as well. Good shit. I'd rather just secure the Inferno, obviously. Okay, so this game... Uh, I should probably talk a little bit about what I should be doing this game. Uh... I haven't really talked about this at all here, but when uh, Jinx and Lulu were just hard pushing bot, I should have been with them as well to defend them against Rengar, because we, we know Rengar is going to be around that area, right? So we know we know he's going to be going bot side to try and punish that shit. Holy fuck, yo! Once you get Triforce in this guy, you just well, I don't have Tri yet, but you know what I mean. You do so much damage. Um, but yeah, you, we know like Lulu and, and, and Lulu and Jinx are going to draw so much attention to themselves and that's going to be really bad for them. So I just need to be around there because Rengar's probably going to show up and, and I can counter that shit and it protects them. So I, I should have been, when Lulu and, and Jinx were playing around bot side, I should have pl been playing around them as well. Uh, and to be honest, I feel like they should have lane, lane swapped top because then it actually reduces a lot of the risk involved because it means that when they keep endlessly pushing, which they will, because uh, they're winning their lane. It means that they don't just die because they're not just overextending heavily. They're actually working on another objective. Oh! Yeah, that was sexy. I think I may have missed my ulti on Orianna there, though. But that was still sexy. Am I, <laughs> am I actually dead here? Fuck my life. <laughs> Holy shit. I couldn't run through the tower there, either. <laughs> Uh, I'll take it, honestly. That's what a way to go. Uh, but yeah, outside of that though, um, in general, right now, what I want to do is I I do just want to play around Jinx and Lulu. Jinx and Lulu are the. Uh, I mean, if we win this game, the the most uh, the most direct path to that happening, so to speak, is through this this little girl right here, Jinx. If we win, it's probably going to be because of her, um, because Jinx is a champion by design very much so a hyper carry so she gets items and she just pops off 
Um, and that's really cool because she's already popping off. So I just play around her and then she can do all the work. Like I don't have to really do anything. So we play around Jinx uh, and then Jinx just does everything. And we just, yeah, especially considering that we have an ardent sense of support, Jinx is gonna be even stronger. I don't think I can defend this tower here. So yeah, Jinx, Jinx will win this game for us as long as we enable her to win the game. So just sit on Jinx basically now. Uh, that involves putting vision down for her. If we, well, we don't actually have any way to do that, I guess, outside of control wards. But, you know, that involves just like protecting her, vision vision control, uh, you know, just pressure in general, just showing her face and all that stuff and just being around for her. Like right now, for example, this is the place I want to be because if something happens, then I can fight with Jinx. Um, having said that, I don't feel like there's much to achieve just by pushing down mid here. But I will sit with them because we are all here, so... That's Rengar here. I mean, there really is no reason for us to be here. I'm just gonna get a fear into everyone there. Good shit. That's it. That is it. <laughs> that is a crazy way to win a team fight. Yeah, that was at least a four man fear right there. I know Jinx popped off there, but honestly, all she did was right click. But you get a massive fear like that on Hecarim, that's a really good way to play the team fights. You fuck everyone up if you do that. Because then you saw Sivir just like rewind, rewind that and just watch what everyone did when I used my ultimate. That's like a good one. Wait, how long does it last for a second? Yeah. That's a good second where people are firstly not doing anything because they're feared. Uh, and secondly, like mispositioning completely and splitting up as well because I use my ultimate pretty much in the middle of them. So they were just like, you know, I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure at least I saw Siva run into the enemy team because she was feared. Then she dies instantly. And uh, when, when the enemy team is squishy like they are here, uh, I mean, and, and you've got failed carries, people blow up. So you get that CC down onto them, you get that fear onto them, and they just get absolutely wrecked, as you saw. Parting could be a little bit better here. Please no kill me. It's a shame Rivenault wasn't up. It's really close to being up. Maybe I went a little bit too aggressive there, but that's fine. It's all good, really. Oh, Ari, that was good. She popped the Sivir Spell Shield with like either her ulti or her W there and then made made way for the charm. Hecarim's actually not bad at taking towers either because you have Triforce, which gives you Sheen. So you can just like spam Q on the tower and then just get the Sheen. Where is he? Where are you, Rengar? There you are. I don't really want to go much deeper, though. Ari has no ulti. Well, Lulu's the only one with ult up, basically. I think that would be a little bit too ballsy if I went too ham there. Not sure. I'm not sure that would be a good idea, necessarily. Nice. Let's go for the dragon here. Also nice. If we're recalling, then we should probably all recall at the same time, because then we come out of spawn at the same time as well. Oh shit. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Night Star this game. <clears throat> Night Star's 1500 from Kindle Gem. Wait, is it? I thought it was 1500. It is 1500. Okay, I'm an idiot. Night Star's 1500 from Kindle Gem, and that means I can just stick it on Jinx, and she can just carry fights even harder than she already is. God damn, this Jinx is way too fed. Yeah, this game. This game's over, lads. It's over. Inting the early game. Bit of a common theme here, actually. Our early games aren't very good right now. We're just not playing smart. 
Uh, who, who needs brains when your jinx can just pop off? There we go, good shit. All right, let's take a quick cheeky look at the damage charts, and I think I'm like mid D5 now, maybe D5, 50, 60, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Jinx is that honor there. 61 LP, not bad. I've got a B grade, shit, I don't even wanna look at my damage then. Actually, that's fine. <sighs> yeah, my damage was pretty high. It looks like it wasn't high because Jinx did that, but I'm only 2k off of my, less than 2k off of my second highest champion. And I would be second on their team as well. Interesting. Yeah, that Riven. I thought Riven was doing fine because she was like, as if I had the lowest gold on my team. Anyway, that's that, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Cheeky thumbs up if you liked it. And you can subscribe to me for more Legends content. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch me, oh shit, catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash foxtrot. But yeah, all those links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one, and I will see you in my next. Fuck my life. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Video.